going to take my contour drawing of my chair and um, we're going to get it into bring it into Photoshop so we can work on it and create a collage with the textures that we all generated um, in our texture library. So um, you, as you can see here's the contour drawing of the chair and um, the first thing I need to do is get this into a JPEG format. So I'm going to do File, Export Image File. I'm going to click on my documents. I'm going to call this my chair contour. That's fine. Save it as a JPEG and hit Save. Now I can quit out of um, ArtRage. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to open Photoshop. Photoshop um, we haven't used too, uh, too much in this class or much at all yet I don't think but um, <clears throat> so this is going to be kind of our introduction to using it to manipulate some images and to create a new piece of art so what we're going to do um, once you're in Photoshop you're going to go up to file open Photoshop can open just about any kind of image document there is so including a JPEG so there's my chair contour it's in my documents open and right away I notice that my image is rotated for some reason if this happens to you you can go up to image image rotation and then I can do 90 degrees clockwise that's what CW stands for and then I'm all good to go there so um, I'm now going to unlock this layer right here um, the background layer I'm going to double click on it and then instead of leaving it as layer zero, I'm going to call this my drawing layer. Okay, so I'm just going to um, leave that there. And what I now need to do is go find some textures to download to put into my chair drawing. So I'm going to go back to Chrome and I'm going to go to the document that we um, are using for our chair, our assignment. So you have it in your documents shared with you the contour chair collage assignment it's also in your email I sent it to you today and if you look at this um, it'll say use Photoshop to add in textures to specific areas of your chair contour drawing use any textures from our library of textures available here and there's a link so this takes you to the that web album that we shared all of our textures to I'm just waiting for it to load and you'll be able to see all of the textures that people made in our class. So what you're looking for are textures that really appeal to you, that you think could maybe really work. Um, so I'm just going to start with, um, doesn't even matter what I pick, I'm just going to pick one here. And I, what I need to do is I need to download this picture. So um, I am going to go here and download the original photo. And notice it went right here, cobblestone texture. So now I can go back to Photoshop and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to File and I'm going to click Place. So I'm placing this document in my cobblestone into the, my um, chair drawing and I believe it's actually in my downloads because that's where it automatically saved to. So it is. Um, so I'm going to click Place and you will now see that I have a texture here and it has this big X this big X actually becomes very difficult and problematic because when you have that big X Photoshop doesn't let you do anything else until you get rid of the X to get rid of the X you have to hit the return key so I did that um, over on the left side here there's the move tool so I'm gonna click on that it's the topmost tool on your toolbar and I can actually move this but you know what what's difficult right now is I want to figure out where I want to put this texture but the um, drawing layer is actually um, <clears throat> behind it so what I'm gonna do is click on the drawing layer and drag it up and you're gonna say oh no it's covering up the the cobblestone so that can be a problem but what I'm gonna do is go to the drawing layer here go to where it says normal and I'm gonna change that to multiply so what I've just done is I've made it so that the white part of the drawing layer is see-through so I can see to my cobblestone layer now I need to determine where I want to put this cobblestone texture. So I'm going to click on the cobblestone and I'm going to, um, I, if I want to adjust the size, I'm going to click tr show transform controls and then I can actually drag it. And if I click and drag, 
I can drag and change it freely like this, or if I want to keep the same proportions, I can hold shift and drag, and that snaps it and keeps it the same square. But I can also flatten it if I think that would work for my chair. So I'm going to resize this. It needs to be slightly bigger than the area that I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it on the edge of the seat. I think I might put it on the back of the chair, actually. I kind of like um, the idea of it being on the, um, kind of on this top back part of the chair. So I kind of shrank it down. I'm going to make it a little bigger. I could even move it up a little, find some interesting area of the texture. And then I'm going to hit the return key again. Alright, so now in order to get this texture to cut out into just the part of the, the chair that I want, I'm going to go to my drawing layer, go to my magic wand. You may not see your magic wand, you might see something called the quick selection. It looks like a paintbrush with like a little dotted uh, circle. So if you click on this and you hold, you're going to click on the magic wand tool. Magic wand selects areas by color, so if you have a nice clean drawing, with lines that touch each other, you should have no problem selecting um, and inside of a particular area of the chair. So notice that when I clicked, I got this dotted line, kind of looks like a line of marching ants. These marching ants represent what's called a selection. So now I have created a selection just inside the back of the chair. Once I have that selection, I'm going to click on the texture layer and I'm going to go up to edit, copy, edit, paste. And you'll notice there's a new layer here, layer 1. And if I take the cobblestone texture layer and just drag it to the trash, it now has gone away so that I can, um, um, now it's cut out in the shape of my chair. Let's do another one. Something I want you to imagine is where is the light coming from in this picture? Choose a side of the picture where the light's coming from. Um, if it helps you, you could always draw it onto your layer, like here's my sun, if that helps you. I don't really know, it kind of looks more like a squid. But if it helps you to know where the light's coming from, then what we're trying to think about is what side of the chair is light and which side of the chair is dark. And we're going to use textures um, accordingly, because you'll notice if you look at the texture library, going back here, that some of them are darker than others, and some of them are lighter than others. So for the side of the chair where um, this, the light is hitting it, I'm going to try to make it lighter. So like on this piece right here, I'm going to try to make this uh, a lighter texture. So I'm going to go back into my library and look for a light texture to use. This one is pretty light. It's got a lot of white space. Remember, I'm going to go up to More, Download Photo, Original, and then I'm going to go back to Photoshop, and I'm going to click File, Place, and now I'm going to get my cracked earth texture. And I already know where I want to put this, so I'm just going to um, already move it. It needs to be a, like a little bit over the size of the actual size that I need it. I might shrink it a little like this to make it work better in the space. I'm going to hit the return key to get rid of that big X. And now, right now, the textures is on top of my drawing layer, so I'm just going to drag it below my drawing layer, and that lets me see through. Now I'm going to go to my drawing layer, click on my magic wand, and click inside of the area that I want to apply this texture to. Notice the marching ants. Now I'm going to go to the textures, cracked earth, and then I'm going to do edit, copy, or command C. And then I'm going to just go straight up to Edit, Paste, or Command V. And you'll notice Layer 2 has now appeared. And if I take Textures, Cracked Earth, and drag it to the little trash can down here, that now my texture, Cracked Earth, is only in the section that I want it to be in. And that is actually how you add all of your textures to your drawing. I want you to do this to every place, including the background. You might need to erase your sun before you do the background, but um, I want you to think about the light. So on this side of the chair, maybe it's going to be darker. I might go back, find a darker texture, something nice and dark, like this. This one's pretty dark. Um, and then I'm going to go more, download photo, original, and then I'm going to back to Photoshop, 
You'll get the hang of this. It gets a little tricky, um, takes a few steps, but you'll get the hang of it. Placing in the darker texture, I'm going to shrink it down a little. I know it's going to go on this side of the chair. Figure out like my favorite part of this texture that I need, but I need it to be at least as tall as that back of the chair. Um, I might even rotate this a little. That might be kind of interesting to rotate it. And I'm going to hit the return key. And it's hard to see my lines right now because this texture is so dark, but I'm going to go back to my drawing layer, use my magic wand, and I'm going to do my best guess as to where this shape is. I didn't quite hit it, so I'm going to try again. All right, there we go. There's the shape. So going back to this layer, notice I'm switching back and forth between layers. I'm going to do Copy, Command-C, and then Paste, Command-V. Now I have layer three. I'm going to throw Ella hair in the garbage and you'll notice that I now have this darker texture on this side of the chair. So we can gradually make the textures get darker, lighter to darker, like that. And that's how you do that.